Our team coverage continues now with CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister. And the people who were there when it happened have been posting on social media. Anna? Naja Elliott, that is right. People are all over social media talking about this tragedy. Uh, just hard to imagine somebody working, uh, trying to make a living, and then this tragedy happens. I want to bring you some video from Instagram that we got earlier today. This shows a man. He's shirtless. He's hugging a woman. We're told that that man that you see in the video, he was in a Tesla. His Tesla, part of it, I'm told by the chief, was hit by when that crane collapsed, but thankfully he was okay. That woman that you see him hugging there in the video, I'm told by a man on the scene that that was a relative of the deceased man. Now, I want to take you to another video. This was taken by a man who says he was crossing that bridge and just nearly missed getting hit as part of that crane collapsed. And the final video, this is some aerials that we obtained from Earl, um, only in Dade, rather. You could get a bird's eye view kind of looking at the damage uh, from up above. We know that there is a hole in the bridge. Uh, there are engineers that are going to come out here and check that out. And here's some sound from first responders right after this all happened. Let's take a listen. It's on Southeast 3rd Avenue and Southeast 4th Street. President Trapman advising a crane involved the bridge. All units switch over to TAC 2. TAC 2, 1630. Both drivers are out. They're 10 4. I'm just waiting for fire. We're trying to redirect traffic right now. I got you to 4 4. Is there someone on the ground level underneath the bridge injured or no? Yeah, we got to get down. There's somebody underneath the bridge injured. Um, the guy is signal 7. That's down underneath the bridge. And we're still working to learn more about who this deceased man is. As Joe mentioned before, two other people taken to the hospital, one in critical condition. We're still working to learn more information. But as we learn more, of course, we're going to keep you updated on air and online. But for now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami. Okay, Anna, thank you.